Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. The importance of learning the local language in the Philippines. When I say local language, it's a local language to where you're going to be living. Um, I know in Cebu they get frustrated with people talking Tagalog um, because Cebu is Cebuano Bisaya, um, where Manila is Tagalog because they find it frustrating because uh, when they go to Manila they speak um, Tagalog but when people from Manila come to Cebu they expect everyone to speak Tagalog which is why people get frustrated. But also, what, how to start learning is another key one. Because if you're doing Bisaya, there isn't a lot of help with it. It's not a um, well-documented language. Um, the easiest way I found of learning things is starting at the store. Um, you get people come and ask you for matches, which is phosphoro. Um, and you end up building up your vocabulary without even realizing it. Now, the reason I recommend doing this is that you'll get that engagement on a daily basis. So, if you're going to the market, instead of sending somebody to do it, go there, you'll find your own vendors you get on with, you'll find other vendors will try to rip you off. But you can go there and then just practice some of your phrases, and over time, they'll, they'll start to help you develop your language skills because the easiest way is immersion um, I've been doing Spanish at the moment for six months um, I would say my vocabulary is probably around 400 words um, but speech wise it's dire uh, because I haven't had that engagement I've been busy with work so now I'm back in Spain I'm gonna be spending more time talking to people in stores and whatever trying to get them to improve my Spanish <laughs> because people really do appreciate you taking the time and effort to learn their language. Um, I know in France it's the same. If you try to speak French, people appreciate it. Spain does it's exactly the same. Italy, it's all about a bit of pride and respect for wherever you are. Philippines is no different. You putting some effort in, they really appreciate it, and they're willing to help you. That's the other thing. Also, you could offer to help people with their grammar. You could do an evening class or something just for free in exchange for somebody helping you with your um, local language. Which is why I say, put the effort in. If you're expected to just read a book and get, and get everything out of it, you won't. Um, I've been doing books, I've been doing audio, I've been doing uh, things like Duolingo for my Spanish, and like I said, my pronunciation is still dire. Um, I'm not happy with it. Um, I would have learned a lot faster by having somebody constantly go, no, and then correcting me, because that sound goes with the words. You absorb it that way much better. Um, also, you can have words that mean multiple things learning from a book and what have you, often don't actually tell you that. Things like mahal in uh, the Philippines can mean expensive, but if you say something like mahal kita, it means I love you. <laughs> so these are the things you've got to be aware of, because it could be quite comical for the locals, and you won't even know why they're laughing at you. So just take a bit of time, and also take it on the chin. Take it as an experiment. Take it for a way to get to take down some barriers that locals will have with you because people are scared of foreigners you gotta remember there's a lot of idiots out there um, a lot of aggressive angry um, males that are coming from the West that are a pain and disrespectful to the local, uh, local population so as such Filipinos try to back off a little bit until they know you the easiest way of breaking that barrier is making a fool of yourself trying to speak uh, the local dialect and have them engage with you and go, no, 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 and they'll correct it for you. And then you build new friends at the same time. I know I've heard a few people say, well, I don't want to mix with foreigners, <laughs> I don't want to mix with Filipinos. Life's so much easier and better if you actually engage with different people. Um, 
not all the expats I work the time of day, um, but the ones I do um, engage with are fantastic friends. Um, even outside the Philippines, we're connected and keep in touch, see how everybody's going, everybody's um, doing well. You know, there, you end up with a bond that's lifelong with good, good expats because you have an experience that most other people don't have. It's a bit like uh, ex-forces. When you've served in the forces, you have a bond with the people that serve with you. That never goes away. Good expats have that bond with each other. And I suppose bad expats have <laughs> the same bond with other bad expats. But the fact is, it's worth the effort. You can end up with some really good friends. You can end up with people that can help you in a bad situation. Um, but the important thing is here, immerse yourself in the local language. Um, could I put a book together? I'm not the right person. Ask a Filipino to do it. <laughs> they will get the phrases right for you. Um, also, recently it changes. So there is no short answer to learning the dialects because it changes. You know, Iloilo has got slightly different. Uh, you could, it's so complicated. There's always, I think there is like 97 or 100 dialects at least in the Philippines. Which is why I say, learn your local dialect um, because outside of that it'll be a little bit here and there because words will be slightly different but if you understand your local dialect learning the next one or understanding these phrases slightly different isn't a problem start local expand it out but you'll have a lot of fun um and like i said people appreciate you actually trying to learn and also you gotta remember you're in a country where nearly everybody speaks English. Grammar isn't perfect, but then again, that's another conversation piece for you, because when they insult your and laugh at your um, um, local dialect, you can fire back with some of their grammar errors by correcting them, and it just creates a bit of a yin-yang. Just don't be hostile with it. All right, thanks for watching.